All right then, so before we get too excited and start coding anything with Bootstrap, first of all, I wanna go over some of the new features that Bootstrap 5 brings to the table. So first of all, and most notably, it's dropped jQuery. And now it just uses vanilla JavaScript for its components. So that's one less dependency we have to load in. Secondly, it's revamped the way it works with form elements, and it's given forms a more dedicated section in the docs. Now we're gonna be using a few form elements in this series, so you will get to see them in action later on. Thirdly, it's added support for right to left designs, and there's a whole section of documentation about RTL support and how to implement it. And by the way, right to left design just means that text on a web page will read from right to left. So for certain languages that use right to left, this is a huge step forward. It's also added a load of new utility classes to the mix. So now we have extra utility classes for positioning, font size, border radius, etc. We're going to see a lot of that stuff later on. There's also been a few small name changes to spacing classes, as well as a couple of minor updates to the grid layout and other components. It has also removed the Jumbotron component as well, but thanks to a lot of the new utility classes, it's really easy to replicate something like that in your design. Also fairly new to Bootstrap is Bootstrap icons. And although not specific to Bootstrap 5, they are a fairly new addition and we will be using them in this series. And finally, it's added two new components to the mix, the off canvas and the accordion. So the off canvas is a component that looks like a typical sidebar. It pops into the screen from the left or from the right, but it can also come in from the top and from the bottom too. So this is a really good component for any extra navigation links or information you wanna show a user after they click on a button or something. We're gonna be seeing it in action later on in the course. Now the other new component, the accordion, looks something like this. So it's essentially a group of drop down boxes which show and hide content when you toggle the titles. So this is nice for condensing a lot of information about several different things into a small space on the screen. And again, we'll be seeing how to make these later on. One more thing I wanted to mention is that Bootstrap 5's also added extra color variables to its color palette. And you can see the whole grid of them right here. And we can use these in our own SAS files when we're extending Bootstrap. Now, speaking of that, Bootstrap 5 also has a much more extensive section in the documentation about how to customize it. So, for example, how to update the theme colors, the utility values, font sizes, etc. And we're going to be taking a look at how to customize Bootstrap towards the end of this series. Anyway, that's pretty much it as far as new features are concerned and we will be exploring them as we go through the series but first up i want to start with the basics of bootstrap and talk about theme colors and typography and we're going to do that in the next lesson